Hi, I'm Rick Streaker, Packard's National Training Coordinator. And today, Jake Estep, yes, our Technical Refrigeration Specialist, and I are going to talk about selecting the proper draft inducer when you're looking for a replacement. Draft inducers are critical components in many gas appliances. When we look at the gas furnaces, for example, draft inducers help us to improve the efficiency of the furnace and get rid of dangerous levels of carbon monoxide. Because of that, because of their function with the furnace, it's essential that the proper replacement is selected for that original OEM draft inducer. To select the proper replacement of draft inducer, well, we can look at the features on this and maybe think that I could select it based upon that, but we never want to select a replacement draft inducer based upon how that particular draft inducer looks. The only way to properly select the replacement draft inducer is by crossing part numbers. You either put the original part number back in or you replace it with a draft inducer that crosses to that original number. So how do we find these numbers on the draft inducers? When we look at this particular draft inducer, on the name plate of the motor is information about the draft inducer itself. So on this particular draft inducer, there is a number on here that the manufacturer of the draft inducer states on this, identifying this specific product. Now when we look at this number, the number is a 70211743. When I look at the very first two digits for this manufacturer of the draft inducer, the 70, that indicates that that number is a complete assembly. Not just a motor only. If that number were 7121, then it might indicate that that's just a motor only. But that number from the manufacturer of this blower identifies the complete blower assembly. Now there can also be other identifying numbers on this particular nameplate. And if we look at this nameplate, there's something identified as CUST, that stands for customer, P slash N, part number, 41144-002. That's the customer part number. So the blower manufacturer has put the customer number on this blower as well. And their customer is the manufacturer of that furnace. So that part number, that customer part number, identifies the blower that goes into that particular furnace. Now again, we're looking at the part number from the OEM blower. We do not want to look at the part number of the furnace and determine what that part number might be and that there could be multiple numbers associated with that furnace. So we always want to select the proper draft inducer based upon the number on the OEM draft inducer. Because there are differences between those, the taps can be in different locations, the wheel might be slightly different, one manufacturer versus another, so we want to use the correct one. Always replace that draft inducer as a complete unit. Don't try and repair the draft inducer. Trying to repair it could result in improper performance and ultimately might result in excessive carbon monoxide, which could be dangerous. As a technician, you always want to make sure that you test for clean combustion using a combustion analyzer and also checking for carbon monoxide levels. There, are, there is an exception where you may be able to provide parts for a draft inducer, but only when those parts are crossed to replacement parts. If they are not crossed, do not try and replace any of the components in that draft inducer.
So we've identified the part number on this draft inducer. Jake, can you show us how to use the cross-reference guide then for selecting a proper replacement? Yes, sir. So here we have the Packard draft inducer guide cross-reference. So it is a tool that can be used at your disposal. If you open up, you can find the OEM model number, the brand, and then the Packard cross. So it'll help you find the exact cross for the draft inducer that you're trying to replace. We also have a version available online of the draft inducer guide as well as an app on your phone for your convenience. Here's an example of how to navigate the cross-reference tool for this particular motor. So it's pretty easy selecting the proper replacement, but you have to use the proper numbers to do that. Use as many numbers on there that you can to try and replace that. Well, we appreciate you visiting the Packard Academy today and hope you come back soon. Thanks.